Hello, greetings from Nepal, ma'am. Hello. Uh, this is Hari Ram Dekota, a professional teacher, teaching for close to 20 years already in high schools in Nepal. I do have a question that has been a very, I guess, uh, uh, a different sort of question that is tickling the mind of many teachers and even students, including many other people in the world. That's the topic is the moon hoax. There are many logical questions and arguments whether the lunar mission that was launched by the U.S. was true or not. So I would like to be clear in the part from an authorized person like you and it would be our great pleasure and let's say uh, it would be a great uh, opportunity for us to learn the reality with evidences from you. Thank you. You're welcome. Absolutely. You know, it, it, all around the world, there are people that say, oh, it was fake. <laughs> but I can tell you that I know the men who landed on the moon personally. Um, I also, the last time I came to Nepal, um, I came with one of those astronauts. His name is Buzz Aldrin, and he did a whole presentation. The time before that that I came to Nepal, I brought back a sample of the moon itself that um, the Ever Science Center was able to display for folks. Um, and that rock was collected by the men who landed on the moon. And so we can tell, like remember when I talked about the soil and the difference of the soil on, on the moon? We can talk about and see and feel all of the things that prove that that rock came from the moon. <laughs> um, you know, back in my old job when I was exhibit manager, um, you know, anytime you fly internationally, you have to fill out a customs form, right? When you come home and it says, this is what I have. Well, we didn't have a process for people that went off the planet, right? <laughs> when we did Apollo. And so when they got back to Hawaii and set foot on back into the United States, you know, we realized they don't have a passport with them. You know? And and so what we did is we made them fill out a customs form that showed everything that they brought back from the moon. And so we have that too. Um, we and you know the capsules and the um, and the the landers that we have were covered in that dust that stuck to everything. There are lots of ways that we can prove that it, it really did happen the way that it did because you you know we have video now. Video wasn't nearly as good back then, right? Um, so that's why people say, oh, it's been faked. But you know that that's thinking in terms of today's technology for movies. Back in the 60s, when all of this happened, that technology didn't exist. So what we like to call—I don't know what you guys call it—but we call it wire foo, where people are all wired up and they look like they're flying through, you know, the air and stuff, and then they use technology to take those wires out in the movie. Um, that didn't exist. And so when you see on, in those videos of our astronauts, you know, hitting a golf ball on the moon or trying to walk on the moon and they're bouncing and you know, the golf ball goes <laughs> way off and the dust just kind of flies up and sits there, those type of things, we didn't have special effects to create back then. And so it, it absolutely was real. And the men that went they get really upset when people say it's fake because they risk their lives to go do that for all of humanity. All right. Thank you very much for your clarity, ma'am. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Absolutely. Glad to. Thank you, sir.